Hello friends, in the series of learning C++ programming, in this session I am going to explain default arguments concept. When we use functions concept in our program, then we can pass argument to that function. See, whenever we have to declare a function, then we have to just follow this syntax. We always write return type first, then function name and we can pass arguments to that function. Whenever we pass argument, then that we have to pass like data type argument 1 then data type argument 2 in this way okay here every time we have to mention data type and then arguments now whenever we call that function then it is compulsory that we have to pass those number of arguments it is a compulsion okay but in c++ we can pass less arguments than we have mentioned over here in function declaration or in definition and that is possible by this default argument concept means for some of the arguments we can set default value if we are not passing that argument while calling that function then its default value will be considered this is the concept of default arguments for example let i want to do addition of three numbers then how we have to write the function is let this function is returning one integer value whatever addition that will be of course integer because we are adding here three integers then function name let add and here we have to pass three arguments let a then b and then c this is just a function declaration in definition we will write like this int add then again a b c and we will write here return a plus b plus c in this way we normally write a function declaration and definition now from main we can call this function okay or from any other function also we can call this function see here how to call that function void main and here we can write like this uh, let's see out addition of let i am writing 5 3 2 is equal to this is just a string that will get displayed as it is and here i am writing see i am calling that add function and i will pass three values like 5 3 2 this is how we can call that function see here i have called function like add 5 comma 3 comma 2 again we can pass variables here means here we have to declare multiple variables and those variables we can pass whatever arguments we are passing through function call those are actual arguments and here in a function declaration or in definition uh, whatever arguments we are taking those are called as formal arguments and the value of this phi u first argument will get copied here inside a that is phi u then 3 will get copied inside b and 2 will get copied inside c in this way it will done now see here we have to compulsory pass here three arguments. If we have written here three arguments, then we have to compulsory pass over here three arguments while calling that function. If any argument is missing, then compiler will give you error like too few arguments in function call. That type of error will be generated by the compiler. Getting? That's why it is compulsory that we have to pass three arguments. Now what will happen? It will add those three numbers and it will return that addition and that will be displayed over here because we have called this function in that c out statement now see c plus plus is giving us one facility that we can set default values to the function arguments this is nothing but default argument concept how see i will write here like this c equals to two just like how we assign initial value to the variable in the same way i am writing here integer c equal to 2 we can write here 0 suppose initial value i am taking as a 0 see i have written here int c equal to 0 this is nothing but we are just setting default value to this c argument now this is optional if you want you can pass if you have not passed the third argument while calling this function then automatically its default value will be considered. Now here let me have called this function like add phi u comma 3 comma 2. Then of course 
A will have 5 value, B will have 3 and C will have 2 value. If we are calling like this, suppose add 5 comma 3 only, then again no problem. Compiler will not generate any type of error here because we have used here default argument concept. Default value we have set to C. That's why here to C 0 value will be considered and here, here you will get result like 5 plus 3 plus 0. Getting again one more argument to B also I am setting one default value let it is again 0. Then you can call that add function like this also only 5 no problem. Here you will get addition of 5 plus 0 plus 0 because B and C will be considered automatically as 0 0. But let you have set default values that B and C to 0 and you are calling like this add uh, let there are three variables p equals to having value 7 and q equals to having value let 2 and I am writing here p comma q then what will happen uh, see value of p is 7 that will be stored inside a value of q is 2 that will be stored inside b now this is remaining and we have not passed here that third argument then compiler will check where it is here the default value of c is 0 that's why here value of c will be considered as a 0. We see if you are not passing that actual argument while calling that function then only default value will be taken. Otherwise whatever passed argument its value will be considered as a value of that argument. In this way we can do addition of one number, two numbers or three numbers if we follow this syntax. Okay, again we can set initial value to A also. We can call function only like this add. If we have set initial value 0 to this A again. But it will not have any meaning. If I want to set initial value to only B, not to C. Then whenever we call like this add 5 comma 3. Then you can think like we already passed two arguments. These two arguments will be considered as a A and C value of A and C and B will be taken as a 0. No, it will not happen. Always consider whatever the arguments to which you want to set default values. Those you have to write from right to left compulsory. If you want to set a default value to only one argument, then that argument should be at the end, not at the middle. Means middle arguments cannot have default values. Means you can give default value to B as well as C, then no problem. But you cannot do like this. Means only middle argument you cannot set default value or only first argument you cannot set default value. Because whatever arguments you are passing, those will get copied sequentially. Okay, now here you have, you have passed 5, that 5 will be stored inside A. Then you have passed here 3, 3 will be stored inside B. Now one argument again remaining. That's why here you will get compile time error. Too few arguments in function call. That's why only trailing arguments can have default values. That's why that C you have to write over here. See, I can write like this. No problem. Now, okay, means only trailing arguments can have default values. Any intermediate argument cannot have default value. If you want to set default value to any intermediate argument or any first argument, then you have to change its place. Just put those arguments at the end. Getting this is just a default argument concept. Means while calling function, you can pass less arguments than just mentioned in function declaration one more point is that see here i have written function declaration this is just a function declaration in function declaration only you can set default values means if you want to write only function definition because you are just calling that function after defining it that's why normally there is no need to write function declaration if you are defining that function before calling Okay, this because main suppose I have written here after this add function. Okay, then there is no need to write declaration, you know this. But if you want to set any default value, then compulsory you have to write declaration because default values you can only set inside function declaration. This is compulsory. This is all about default argument concept 
in C++. In the next session, we will see function overloading concept. Till then, take care. Bye-bye. Thank you.